Hey, what up decisive marketers? You are a freelancer or an agency and you've got clients. Now, wouldn't then, you know, managing clients become a big problem for you as you have more and more of them? And that's what today's two is all about. It's a client portal um, business management uh, tool that allows you to um, invoice your clients easily uh, manage their tasks and projects easily and uh, you can work with your teammates all in one single uh, portal right here and this tool is called client venue now before i dive into client venue be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content so here we are in client venue right so uh you can click on the onboarding and oops sorry not the onboarding but the getting started and this will be the uh you know the the steps that you have done uh that you're supposed to do to get onboarded so the first thing would be to onboard your clients and uh, all you need to do is jump into clients and uh, you can add them right just click over here at clients and you can actually see you know your active and inactive clients right here okay and uh, the next step would be to add your teammates which you can just click here and add new teammates and uh, the next one will be to set up your client portal okay so for the client portal um, there's no uh, because the 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 plan that I have right here does not allow me to uh, do white labeling, but white labeling is included in client venue. Okay, you just got to get the uh, respective plan to uh, white label your domain. However, um, and also email white label is not uh, available as well um, unless uh, you also upgrade your plan. Now next would be for you to create your services so that you can build your clients you can click under services so these are the uh, you know services right here and of course you got a checkout link here but this checkout link um, is uh, you got to set up your invoicing to do that and uh, once you click on this you jump into the integration uh, page right here and right now there is um, stripe slack and web hook integrations um, intercom crisps live chat uh, hubspot and talk to integration are coming soon now um, i have tested the uh, stripe integration for some reason however um, it seems to be giving me some errors um, i have no idea why but the connection um, is not um, the integration is not uh, working for me right so I keep getting this um, issue so that's something to take note of I'm sure that the team uh, would be fixing that very soon and then for slack integration you can just connect that to your slack workspace okay and uh, lastly would be for you to create your projects and uh, you just go to um, workspace right here and you can um, add a new project and um, you can change the project statuses right here the project management feature is very simple it's just um, you know just an overview and a Kanban board right here okay so you can just add task um, let's say uh, create a website okay so for example this will be the task and within the task list you can uh, set who the uh, collaborators are so you can add them in right your teammates and when is the start date when is the due date what is the status and uh, description subtask um, and any you know file uploads um, that you want to put in here as well right so these are uh, whether you want to comment uh, internally right so these are for um, internal messages then this will be external uh, that goes to your client okay so this that is something for clients to see all right you can make uh, attachments here um, and then you can share the task so 
if you put public sharing then people will then be able to see uh, the task board right here so this is the public sharing page right so this is the public sharing page right here okay and uh, you can also make it into private uh, sort of uh, uh, this sorry this is public and you can uh, share certain items only okay and uh, if you turn off public sharing that it will be private and uh, it will then only be view uh, only your clients will then be able to see it okay now uh, and pretty much that is all uh, to of course you can set your colors for the you can change the icons um, you can edit the name and description as well of the project and I think that's about it right it's a very simple um, client management tool uh, of course you can set your notifications that come in as well um, these are email notifications um, and then I think that's all we have okay so um, what I think about uh, uh, and lastly this will be the dashboard right so lastly what I think about client venue is that it's a very simple um, client portal uh, business management tool you can do all the basic tasks uh, within client venue it is not as um, as advanced as other tools that have uh, you know other payment methods integrated uh, this only has stripe uh, it doesn't have um, you know uh, proposals built in it does not have um, uh, you know like knowledge base built in mind maps maybe even flow charts uh, chat feature with uh, internally and with the client there's no chatting there's only commenting features okay so I th um, there's no uh, signature feature so I think that client value um, it's really something f for um, basic for a, a, a small team that uh, you know does not uh you don't want to complicate stuff right um and then i think client venue just works right out of the box just for managing your tasks with your clients and you don't need different views right just a simple campaign bot is sufficient i think cl client venue does the job and i think that's all i have to share about client venue if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you uh um, if let me know what you think about client value in the comments below and lastly if you know anyone that could benefit from a client portal business management tool be sure to share this video with them and i'll see you in my next video